Hi and welcome. Let's do this quick and easy. So here we go. First go to Options, Preferences and look for VST <coughs> from Preferences. Now you see a line which contains all the folders for VST and from here you can edit the path list. You can see which folders are included and you can add there more if you need to. So you go to program folders which I have now in in Spanish, sorry for that. And usually the most common one is Steinberg because Steinberg is the creator of VST originally. So here is the first one. You can add that one and it will appear on the list if it's not already there. There are more than one. As you can see, there is VST plugins folder. You don't have to put the, the subfolders. It's the main folder and that's it. And you still may have different places like common files. As you can see, there's VST3. And of course, this all depends if you have, for example, older 32-bit system, Windows operation system, they are in the program folders of x86. And finally, you will see all the included folders which Reaper is looking for. If you have added something, you can rescan it and they should then appear on the list of VSTs. The easiest way in this case is just insert a virtual instrument on new track. You could just insert a new track, but if you have, for example, Amplitube adding a VST instrument track is the easier way. So it should be now here if it wasn't in the beginning. This is quite common reason why you cannot find a VST which you have downloaded and installed in Reaper. I hope this helped and thanks for watching.